In this video, we are going to take a look at um, the special uh, permissions, the, the set UID permission bit uh, for Linux systems. So we are going to demo this uh, using the uh, password command. All right, so uh, the password command uh, basically allows us to uh, change the password, uh, change a user's password. All right, so we are going to use this to demonstrate. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the password executable. Okay, the password uh, executable is located at user bin password. And if you look at the permissions, you will find that the set UID bit is set. All right, this is the set UID bit. It is set for the user bin password uh, binary. Okay, so when you execute um, the user bin password, okay, when anybody executes uh, the user bin password, instead of executing it as um, the user itself, it is going to execute as the owner of the user bin password executable, which in this case is root. And uh, why is that necessary? That is because of the fact that the hash um, password of a user is stored under slash etc shadow file. And the etc shadow file is only uh, read writable by root. Right? It's only read writable by the user root. So in order to make changes to the etc shadow file, okay, uh, it will need the root root's permission and uh, to do that the set uid bit is set on the uh, user bin password so that when it execute it is actually executing at root and has the necessary permissions to write back to the slash etc uh, shadow file here okay so um, as an example i'm going to change the uh, my this uh, kelly user's password okay i'm kelly Currently, I'm going to change it to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to change my password. Huh? But first, uh, let's look at the timestamp of the etc shadow file. It is May 10, 424. And uh, if I look at the um, timestamp right now, it's 444. All right. So uh, I'm going to change the password now. I'm going to say password, and it allows me to change my own password. All right. I'm going to say uh, my current password is Kelly. I'm going to give it a new password. And uh, if the two passwords are the same, the two uh, passwords are the same and it's going to update uh, successfully. Uh, that means uh, uh, let's now take a look at the timestamp on the shadow file again. And you can see that the shadow file has indeed been modified. It's 445, uh, 444. Okay, uh, it was previously uh, last modified at 424. Okay, so although I'm the normal user, all right, when I execute uh, user beam password, as the normal user, it actually runs as root because of the set user ID bit. Okay, so um, this demonstrates the uh, the uh, set UID bit uh, in action. 